A Living Benevolence, June 5. I have showed you all things, how that so laboring ye ought to support the weak, and to remember the words of the Lord Jesus, how he said, It is more blessed to give than to receive. Acts 20, 35. We should regard ourselves as stewards of the Lord's property and God as the supreme proprietor to whom we are to render his own when he shall require it. The servants of God should be making their wills every day in good works and liberal offerings to God. Dying legacies are a miserable substitute for living benevolence. Hoarded wealth is not merely useless, it is a curse. In this life, it is a snare to the soul, drawing the affections away from the heavenly treasure. In the great day of God, its witness to unused talents and neglected opportunities will condemn its possessor. He who realizes that his money is a talent from God will use it economically and will feel it a duty to save that he may give. It is utter folly to defer to make a preparation for the future life until nearly the last hour of the present life. It is also a great mistake to defer to answer the claims of God for liberality to his cause until the time comes when you are to shift your stewardship upon others. Those to whom you entrust your talents of means may not do as well with them as you have done. How dare rich men run so great risks? Those who wait till death before they make a disposition of their property surrender it to death rather than to God. In so doing, many are acting directly contrary to the plan of God plainly stated in His Word. If they would do good, they must seize the present golden moments and labor with all their might as if fearful that they may lose the favorable opportunity. We must all be rich in good works in this life if we would secure the future immortal life. When the judgment shall sit and the books shall be opened, Every man will be rewarded according to his works.